experimental probability. Experimental probability is the probability based on a repeated experiment. And we can estimate the experimental probability using a simulation, which is a way of collecting data, such as tossing a coin or drawing a card, to represent a real situation. A toy machine has equal numbers of red, white, and blue foam balls, which it releases at random. Audrey wants to predict how many times in the next 12 tries a white ball will be released. So let's choose a model to perform the simulation. So in this problem, there are three colors, red, white, and blue. So we want to choose a model that is divisible by three. For example, a number cube, a standard number cube that has six sides, numbers one through six, is divisible by three, so each color would be given two numbered sides of the number cube. So red can be given sides one and two. Blue can be given sides three and four. And white can be given sides five and six. You could also mix it up differently. Red could be given one and six, blue could be given two and five, and white could be given three and four. It doesn't matter as long as each color is given two different sides. Now I'm gonna perform the simulation. I'm gonna roll the standard number cube 12 times and record how many times it lands on each number. Here we go. First roll is a four. Six. Four again. One. Four again. Six. Five, two, four more rolls, one, one again, two, and final roll, four. Based on the experiment, what is the probability a white ball is released? Well, for me, a white foam ball was represented by the numbers five and six on my number cube. That landed three times out of the 12, or one fourth. Martin has a bag of marbles. He removed one marble at random, recorded the color, and then placed it back in the bag. He repeated this process several times and recorded his results in the table to the right. Find the experimental probability of drawing each color. So let's start with the color red. Martin drew the color red 12 times out of, we need to find the total of all the colors, 12 plus 10 plus 15 plus 13. Twelve plus 10 is 22. 15 plus 13 is 28. Together, a total of 50 times. So the red's probability is 12 out of 50, which we can reduce to 6 out of 25. For the blue marble, based on the experiment, 
Martin chose blue 10 out of 50 times, which reduces to one fifth. Green. Green was chosen 15 out of the 50 times, which reduces to 3 tenths. Yellow was chosen 13 out of the 50 times, and that cannot be reduced. 13 is prime. A librarian is curious about the habits of the library's patrons. He records the type of item that the first 10 patrons check out from the library. Based on this information, estimate the probability that the next patron will check out a fiction book. So let's see how many fiction books were recorded. Patron 1, Patron 3, Patron 4, and patron nine. That is four out of the 10 patrons, which reduces to two fifths. Talia tossed a penny several times and she recorded the results in the table. She claims her probability of landing on heads is one half. Explain her error. Well, theoretically, when you flip a penny, you have a 50% chance of landing on heads and a 50% chance of landing on tails. But based on Talia's experiment, she landed on heads 20 times and tails 10. This is a total of 30. So the probability of landing on heads based on Talia's experiment would be 20 out of 30 which reduces to two thirds.